Okay, we have uh, well created uh, our transmission for each joint. And then uh, what we need to do is to create uh, our gazebo plugin. Why that? Because as I said to you, uh, we need uh, a tool or better a plugin that uh, allows uh, the ROS uh, or better the ROS controller uh, to communicate uh, with uh, the gazebo which is uh, another type of software which is a uh, physics software so uh, we need uh, uh, to create a tag uh, gazebo and then uh, put uh, the plugin tag the name of this plugin which is gonna be gazebo ROS control and then the file name. Uh, this file name is very important because it will do uh, the, all the dirty works uh, for us. So you will see uh, later on that uh, when uh, this uh, um, plugin will be uh, spawned in our model, um, this plugin will take all our uh, joint uh, transmission uh, whatever and it will create uh, the topics needed to control each joint for us and this is very important because uh, without that we will not be able to control our joint simply because all the joints and all the transmission cannot talk to gazebo to which is our environment. And another important thing is uh, uh, to create a robot namespace. In our case, we're gonna call it Cobot. This is very important because uh, we might have a different plugin uh, for uh, different uh, robots. Imagine that uh, we are gonna create um, a simulation with uh, different uh, robots and we need uh, to assign uh, to each robot a uh, gazebo plugin. Okay, now our um, gazebo plugin is done. During the checking, I need to point out some uh, dummy errors that I made, so make sure to do not fall in the same error. Okay, so uh, we can uh, spawn the robots in our gazebo environment to check if uh, everything uh, works uh, as before. So we launch the file, okay, this is imposed, then if we press play, the robot should fall down again. Okay, this is falling down even if we have our gazebo plugin and the transmission because now we have all the tools needed for creating actually our control for each joint.